As far as street corners in Seattle are concerned, this doesn't look like much. 23rd and Union, a fast food restaurant, a liquor store, an assortment of small businesses, and a whole lot of cars just passing through. This area's biggest claim to fame is it's the heart of the Central District and Seattle's African-American community. It's always been a place of struggle and identity, and today is one of those days. To me, 23rd and Union has been a centerpiece of community and political organizing. Larry Gossett has been a civil rights activist since he was a kid in college. This is his neighborhood. Stokely Carmichael spoke at Garfield High School in April of 1967, and all of us young blacks referenced ourselves as Negroes. And every one of us, when we heard him speak, came out of that, calling ourselves black and having changed to this day. So we organized the first chapter of the Black Panther Party right here in Seattle. And our first meeting was at Aaron Dixon's house, right up here off 30th in Union. The Panthers organized and figured out a way to get resources and make sure that our little brothers and sisters got fed before they went to school. The day that Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, they arrested Aaron Dixon, uh, Carl Miller, and Larry Gossett for organizing a sit-in at Franklin High School because the principal kicked two girls out of school for wearing their hair uh, natural. It's Friday afternoon and every chair at Earl's Barbershop is occupied. It's one of the best places in town for a cut and conversation. Shoot, I've been around here for 54 years. And uh, I love this area. And grew up around here and I wouldn't want to stay any other place. <laughs> Change is good. Change is good. I'm not really optimistic as far as black people go in this neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I think they're trying to push us all south, federal way, Tacoma, Renton, all of that, you know? We're not even, it's kind of unaffordable for a lot of people to even be around here. Not a certain race of people, but the upper class know what they want to save money and that's what is happening around here. It's not, a, it's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, it's not a racist thing, it's just, it's, just, it's a money thing. The Central District is changing. 23rd and Union is changing. It's more diverse. New development is in the wings. And that's good news or bad news depending on who you talk to. The neighborhood has changed big as the community is becoming a diverse community, orientation, income, a lot of people feel like uh, it's been changing for bad because their mother, their grandmother, uh, the whole, their whole generation was here. Uh, and they feel, you know, uh, a little pushed out. I find myself holding on. Was raised in the days of black power, stay strong. That was the Reagan era talking post-Vietnam. Was taught if I get popped to sing no hymns and no songs, this is war. And it takes place among civilians. Yudam Sek is from one of the oldest families in the neighborhood. He's turned the recent changes into his own personal expression. Sometimes when you're talking to an individual, they don't hear a word you're saying, but as soon as you put it in a rhythmic form behind a beat or on top of a beat, people are all ears. It's a hard transition. Neighbors that you grew up with, knew you by name, knew your whole family, to neighbors who know nothing about you, and that's been the most difficult part. Gentrified my hood, things then changed in the eye blink. Used to be straight bullets, straight dogs pissing on the hydrant. Used to be abandoned cars, now the cars are high end. Centralized my hood, my hood, it used to be an island. Home of every set. And it is true, there is a white urban influx into the Central District. But there also is a new African immigrant community. One of their favorite haunts is one block from the main intersection, Chicken? Fatima Cafe. Because sometimes people from uh, Somalia like to remember home, back home, coming here with the traditional food from this own country. I say the neighbor is good here. 
No problem, no crime. Everything is safe here. Every Friday morning at 7.30, this group gathers to speak their mind. It's not a black thing or a white thing. It's a 23rd and Union thing. All of us are involved with separate causes. Uh, this is a sign about getting money out of politics. And everybody has a different perspective, but we come together and all of the issues we feel are related and connected. Struggle and identity have a whole new meaning in this neighborhood. The black population in the Central District is about half of what it was 30 years ago. And if you want to start a conversation at 23rd and Union, ask if the glass is half empty or half full. Used to be abandoned cars, now the cars are high-end. Centralized my hood, my hood, it used to be an island. Gentrified my hood, things then changed in the eye blink. Used to be straight... Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.